Hey guys, welcome to another video on Bharat and Germany. My name is Bharat and in this video I have Forum with me and she's actually studying her bachelor's in informatic in LMU which is again a very sought after university by so many people. Forum, welcome to the call. Tell us a bit about yourself, where you come from, what are you doing and then we jump into the questions. Hello everyone. Myself, Forum Sheet. I come from Vadodara, Gujarat. I'm doing my bachelor's, as uh, Mr. Bharat said, at uh, Ludwig Maximilian University. I got enrolled in German University after completing my one-year language course at a private student colleague in Magdeburg. As far as now, it was a great experience. Now, tell me about this, Forum, that most of the times, like... The process for bach like masters is very simple like you know you, we don't have to do much we just finish our bachelors and right afterwards during the bachelors itself we can start applying to universities and then we can start our masters it's very simple so how was the timeline for you so let's say when did you finish your 12th um, class and then like you know how did things look like and also tell me about the part when you actually decided that okay now i want to go to germany this is my plan and this is how i'm going to like go ahead planning was started quite early when i was in grade 10th i uh, like i wanted to go out of my comfort zone definitely to abroad to study yes i started with my procedure for applying for student colleague and researching about the universities and everything after my 12th after like precisely may 2019 after i got my 12th grade result as a tourist i have already visited germany so i knew uh, what kind of uh, culture they follow what people uh, how they are involved or what kind of activities they do mm -hmm. but on an academic part uh, as a student life Uh, your videos definitely helped a lot yeah there was a quite like for 3 4 months we did a we did a intensive research mm -hmm. on how to proceed what is the best way mm -hmm. so then uh, we got to know about uh, mgwi and magdeburg it's a private student college they for the requirement for uh, getting enrolled in a student college is your 12th grade about 60% and uh, with uh, a blocked account that is very necessary mm -hmm. even for applying for visa so yes i came to germany in october 2019 i started my student college by january 2020 i gave my of nama prüfungs that is after b1 level b1 level in german then i started with my b2 and c1 level along with the engineering subjects like mathematics physics chemistry and computer science the uh, end of the october 2020 i had to give my festellungs prüfung mm -hmm. that is final exam examination for student college but uh, due to this covid 19 i wasn't very confident of giving uh, giving my final examination uh, in october 2020 so i postponed it to december 2020 so in december 2020 i gave my festellungs prüfung fsp my final examination for student college i applied in many universities but then i selected ludwig maximilian university in munich mm -hmm. and i started my bachelor's in informatic in april 2021 now in this entire story you know many people feel this thank forum that if you study in a private student college you cannot study in public universities and stuff so first of all like that's anyways like you know that's not correct because you're studying in lmu um but did you come across ideas like these at the time when you were um, let's say preparing for student colleagues uh, not really but uh, because we get a certificate and that is from state uh, recognized certificate uh -huh. so you do it from a private student college or from a state student college the certificate speaks about your academic mm -hmm. so and that is uh, that only the university um, at last sees that what kind of grades you have and so that doesn't really matter if you do it from a state recognized or from a private a lot of people say that like you know 50 50% like this is the general trend that 50% of your bachelor's uh, sorry this fsp and 50% of your 12th now have you seen hmm. something similar or is it also possible if you have bad score in your 12th that you can like still study um in germany if you just perform better in your fsp on 
websites, the criteria is clear. It should be above 60 percent. Mm -hmm. So below that, even student colleague won't accept you. In FSP, uh, especially I'm talking about Indian students, mm -hmm. will definitely score good with the maths, physics and chemistry and computer subjects. The only difficult part is German. And uh, the teachers really, they really are very helpful. They know what kind of situation you are in. You, you, you stay alone and you have to manage your every stuff and then you have to study and score well. So they are very supportive. So with practice and, you know, being very uh, focused, you should, in, like people I've seen, some students, they get distracted in middle and then they have to repeat the year again and again to complete their final examination. But so you have to be very focused. You have to practice and so that way, yes, you can definitely score a good. And what was the reason that you didn't study in Magdeburg afterwards and like you studied in LMU? Like what were the things that you were seeing? Uh, Magdeburg University, Otto von Göring University is really, really nice. It's one of the youngest universities, definitely. I applied for the Bavarian universities because I, I'm very, I'm familiar with the Bavarian area. Mm -hmm. with Munich especially I have been to Munich I have stayed for three months mm -hmm. so I'm quite familiar with this place so my uh, you know I was a little bit inclined towards Munich University so yeah that's why an LMU accepted so mm -hmm. yes all right so that also sounds good and so far the experience um you told me like in the student colleague was also not bad that like you were like still going from a private student colleague and it worked out just fine did you also have other students in your batch like who were struggling more or like who found it easier and like if yes so like what are the common things that you think might be difficult for other indian students who come from india and then they start this start their like student colleague in germany the difficult as i said before the difficult is the language yeah. when i came i only completed my a1 level from India and Magdeburg is a uh, compared to a small town where very less people uh, communicate with you in English so initially it was very difficult for uh, like we struggled in supermarkets or banks because we did only a1 level so it was you know even difficult for us to explain and for them to understand yeah and subjects I say uh, it's like 11th and 12th what we studied in India but mm -hmm. the difference is only they are in German level, not right. in English. So if you understand the terminology or what is known in the like velocity or the mass and weight and acceleration, everything, mm -hmm. uh, you will be able to score good. I think this program that you have of like bachelors of informatics, I think this is a German thought program. And like so far, it's is it your second semester now? I just completed my first semester okay. last month okay okay so from october i will start my second semester okay so how was the first semester for you it was very new uh, because student colleague was basically a revision of 11th and 12th and now bachelor is something really really uh, out of what we have learned uh, till now yeah the german understanding the because uh magdeburg german so, uh, say a different kind of uh, they speak in different accent and here in Munich, they have different accent. So it, that was the difficult thing to understand what they actually want to explain to you. Uh, what I feel is when you keep listening, you get a better idea of uh, the language. Mm -hmm. So yes, we kept listening the videos and the lectures and that made it easy. So now next semester, I'm a little bit more confident that I will understand in one the one go rather than listening it again and again yeah yeah no no that's i think a standard when i started my master's in german thought program the the first few weeks were like so horrible i was like you know what did i do to myself like how does it make sense because like understanding professors in the starting it's difficult because you do not understand the flow of anything yeah. um and then slowly and slowly you get in touch with that and then things start becoming better but i think like you know the first semester i per se also, also believe you should always take it light let's say take two, two subjects three subjects or something not more than that and then like you know do the rest of the subjects like throughout the other semesters that makes the most sense about the Aufnahme Prüfung. so forum did you also see like that students can like give the Aufnahme Prüfung online or something are there some student colleagues that you know about who do that or generally you have to like fly to germany to give the Aufnahme Prüfung? Uh, i don't think so it's uh, online 
mm-hmm. maybe due to this covid 19 there might be some exceptions where mm-hmm. they accept online uh, of namus pupu mm-hmm. but at my student college um, uh, no we have to fly to germany and then give the paper and like at that time already you have to apply for the student applicant visa as far as i remember and then like you have to get the blocked account ready too and uh, what is the maximum time period that you can like give trials of 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 namus pupu like so is it like one year you can try to write different kind of aufnahme prüfung and then get enrolled in the student college or is there some kind of like timeline that you have come across like this or is it like so like what i mean from this is because many times for the student applicant visa as far as i've heard like you get two years maximum for to for you to prepare yourself for the studies in a german university how many times can you fail in aufnahme prüfung do you know something about this any other idea that you've heard from other people aufnahme prüfung it comes second the first comes the uh, first challenge proof mm-hmm. that is you can give for two times mm-hmm. so after two times if you fail the exam uh, you are not allowed to st- uh, you know stay That's in nice. germany mm-hmm. uh, but of namung uh, of namung proof uh, doesn't have such rule as far as i know mm-hmm. that uh, and uh, my student colleague um, they do not allow you to uh, Uh, to write first challenge proof before you clear that internal exam so and that uh, reduces the chance that you might fail yeah, yeah. and also we, we don't just have a theory or a uh, written exam we also have a uh, munlish proof that is oral examination so if you are uh, if you fail with some two or three points they take your oral examination mm-hmm. and then they cover up that uh, less marks about the external fsps and stuff like have you seen some students like writing it completely externally like you know not doing a student colleague and just like preparing it themselves and then like writing this fsp by themselves as an external candidate i do know about this but uh, i have not come across anyone who has okay. done this okay yeah yeah because like maybe so how important would you say that the student colleague part was for you for writing the fsp because now you can compare that you have done 11th and 12th like would you have been able to clear it like after that by your own preparation or you think it was very important that you went to a student college no uh, it, it's very important to attend okay. student college because for language you need uh, a kind of mindset you uh, the people around you they speak german they teach german mm-hmm. so that improves the german because if that same thing i have uh, if i would have done in india in the class it would be a german then coming down to the building we start talking in hindi or yeah, english yeah. or like that so that that doesn't really make sense mm. so yes attend attending student colleague it's really really helpful mm-hmm. perfect so i think this sounds good any other tips you would have for them for people who are thinking about coming for bachelors in germany but are like scared or nervous or they don't know if they should come at all you should definitely uh, come out of your comfort zone because i tell from my personal experience till 12th uh, it was a very very happy life everything was ready food is ready clothes are ready and everything but when you come here one or two days you can go out and eat but third day you have to prepare it for yourself so that makes you re- uh, really independent uh, i've seen some students are afraid of doing part time jobs Mm-hmm. which is which i suggest you should do uh, it really boosts uh, boosts your uh, confidence and it really makes you independent uh, so and may, uh, the tips are like you get good make good friends uh, just don't be afraid to try something new definitely mm-hmm. even if you are not confident about your language or something but still just give a try <laughs> once or twice you might fail but the third time you know you will you will get a great uh, uh, boost in your confidence mm-hmm. that that sounds actually very nice thank you so much for the tips fulham and thank you so much for taking out the time for getting on this call it was very nice talking to you and anybody else who has questions still regarding student colleague bachelors and so on you can write it down in the comment section below and when the video comes out i'm going to let forum know that the video is out and maybe she can take out some time and respond to some of your queries thank you so much again forum and i'll see you around